under damp skies in Dublin 4 at the RDS tonight. Leinster have lost only one of their last 26 outings anywhere in the Irish capital and that was a surprise defeat against Benetton last April. It would be a huge shock if the Cheetahs were to leave here tonight with a victory. It would also put them right back in the playoff hunt. Albeit Munster won the game comfortably 38-0 but he was tremendous. McFadden and there's a big collision there. Nigel Owens is going to take decisive action. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. The ball was definitely cleared. McFadden before contact came in. Destructive player and it was a, a moment of madness and ill discipline. His and presence will be lost to this though. Gibson Park and they're queuing up here and in particular Conor O'Brien and in he goes he's very difficult to stop from that kind of range he's strong, he's upright, he's physical and he gets his sixth try of the season Ross Byrne on that occasion carries the ball to the line then it's loose and it's thumped downfield and the chase is on and there's not too many people will catch Max Wani Max Wani will run it in for the try was he ahead of the kick is the question. Will Nigel he's, Owens look at it? He's so fast. that One moment I thought he was in trouble, but he gained up so much ground. as well worth taking a look at it. Oh, was that knocked on as it came out? Oh, he's good. He's good. That's how quick he is. And he just accelerates through the gears. He sits up nicely for him. And that is meat and drink to the competition's top try score this season. Position A1 really here to try and register a second and retake the lead. Gibson Park wits. And off he goes, and he's got huge options as always, and they go straight for Byrne, and he's going to be very difficult to stop from that kind of range, given his bulk, his size, and his frame, and his reach. And Adam Byrne gets Lancaster's second try of the evening, his fifth of the season. Period of pressure with Leinster camped inside this 22, but they haven't really turned the screw. It's been a little bit scrappy and uncharacteristic of Lancer now. It's a big juggle from Carney, but he stayed in field and he managed to regather, didn't knock it on. Porter now. They could do with a little bit of ballast from the likes of Porter here and some direct running. Maloney can certainly provide it. Tracy in there to help out. It's there for Gibson Park. Ross Byrne to his namesake, Adam Byrne. And wide they go to O'Loughlin. He's got Conor O'Brien through. A little chip ahead for Rory O'Loughlin. Plays a little bit of football. And oh, that is absolutely superb from Lancaster's outside centre. The chip over the top was exquisite, but it's the couple of touches thereafter. And then the finish. So many options with uh, Paddy Patterson, Hugh Sullivan. Three or four deep in every position. The clock goes red. We've played the 80 minutes. Leinster in possession, seeking out a fourth try. They're not going to get it, are they? End of the game. That's game over, says Nigel Owens. So not to be in terms of the try bonus point. They've managed it five of the last six matches they've played, but nonetheless, it's. A seventh win on the bounce for Leinster. And with four matches of the regular season still to go, the defending champions have secured a home semi-final. So they will be back here on home soil where they've lost only one match in their last 27 to contest the semi-final. And they have done it all with four matches to go. Three tries tonight. And they run out winners against the Cheetahs at the RDS by 19 points to 7.